you so much for checking out Wild Pearl Tarot. This week, June 13th through the 20th, Sunday through Sunday, we're gonna be checking in on what's coming towards you. We'll be drawing a card on where you're at currently, what to be prepared for, and then what to do with it. And then we'll be getting clarity on those. Um, if any of this resonates, please hit the like button and please subscribe. That allows me to get these readings out to more of you who would benefit from them. And I thank you in advance. Of course, feel comfortable leaving a comment um, below if uh, if you'd like to share about how this resonates. And of course, if it doesn't resonate, move on. Scorpio, life's too short. All right, so where you're at, regarding where Scorpio is at currently, this will give us a good jumping off point for our reading. Feeling the love, Scorpio. I love you guys back. All right, where you're at. Four of Pentacles, right on. I think Leo got this actually in the same position. So kind of holding on. Now this is regarding if it's financial and it's job related and we'll find out soon. This is definitely being careful of what you're releasing versus what you're gaining, right? Like your bank account, for instance, you know, maybe saving would be a good idea. Now if this is regarding relationships, that's basically holding holding your cards close to you. Um, all right, but we'll that'll that'll clarify itself soon. Okay, so what's coming towards Scorpio? Oh, right there, the star card. This could be definitely being noticed by others, but also the healing card and getting your wish. It's such a wonderful card. I'm going to show you this illustration just because it's the glare off of the light is a little bit harsh, but it's a wonderful card. What to do about it? Wow, these are just jumping up. So this Okay, so Ten of Pentacles, family, inheritance, legacy, um, kind of the big picture there, what you're investing yourself into. Okay, so I'm going to get a little more clarity from the same deck in regards to where you're at, a little bit more information about where Scorpio is at currently, King of Cups, all right, and what's coming towards Scorpio this week, June 13th to the 20th, what's coming towards Scorpio, please make a clear spare of the and the star card, clarity in the star card, the Empress. Okay, so far this is quite emotional. Feels like family or relationships. Um, what to do about it? The Ten of Pentacles. All right, yeah. Recognizing it's the end of a phase, letting it go. Clarity. You know what, let's get this from another deck. I'd like a little more clarity on this death card for Scorpio. Thank you for your patience, Scorpio, as I get as I get a little more clarity here. And then a little more clarity on what's coming towards you. We have the star card and the empress card, and I'd like a little more clarity on this. These seems to be some, we get the major arcana we wanna pay attention to, right? And we're getting some, some major messages with what's coming towards you. I'd like some clarity on what's coming towards you. We got the star card again. All right, so that's double star cards in the same position basically from two different decks so we listen to that you know a lot of the readings I feel like every other reading every other sign that I do is getting a double card um, in the same position so let me take a look at this please um, please bear with me Scorpio this is this feels like major healing this feels like it is connected to relationships or a relationship, an individual. Um, there's the Empress card here, so there could be a new pregnancy or a new child in the picture, but going back to Four of Pentacles, this feels like a guarded energy somewhat. You know, and Scorpios are so they feel the world and they can they can go into the shadow side of life and life has a big shadow side where there's light, there's dark. They can go into areas of life and feeling that many people are way too scared to do. And um, But at times Scorpio has to use their stinger or they use, they take advantage of that hard shell that they have on their exterior. And this definitely feels like you're aware of that shell currently but you're also developed in your emotions and your feeling about the world and regarding the situation 
you do feel that your perspective emotionally is developed, you know, that um, you're not shooting from the hip and asking questions later. This is something that you're fully feeling that you have a grasp of. But whether you're expressing that on the outside or not, it feels that you're holding that, that in. Um, there's very much a need to heal here. And you're finding possibly healing in the new beginning of something. That's why the Empress card, um, if it's not literally talking about a pregnancy or a child, it's a symbol um, that means the new beginning of something, creating something new, right when it's in its gestation phase, you know? Um, when it's in its creating phase. And a lot of healing is going to, just to reiterate, a lot of healing is going to be taking place in what you are creating now, what you're about to create. And only in what we're doing now, through our actions going forward in the future, can we actually heal the past, if that makes any sense. So I am merging the two. I've been doing this a lot in my readings, is merging what's coming towards you this week with uh, what you do about it, because they do really <laughs> closely correlate. But you're looking at big picture stuff and realizing that possibly the future has just taken a change, taken a, changed the picture. Like the future of what you consider legacy family, inheritance possibly. You know, it's, it's taken on a new phase. And possibly that phase was inevitable, but you finally hit that place where it's now the new chapter. But it's not necessarily as easy as possibly, you th it's not necessarily as easy as you thought it was going to be, even though it might have been inev inevitable. This could be the leaving of somebody in the family, literally a death. This could also be, and oftentimes the death card does not symbolize death, just to say that the tower card and the death card get bad reps. But in fact, they're very, um, they're very symbolic of something necessary, and that is change. And going into this change, there is a little bit of stuckness that um, that needs to be addressed, right? You're feeling stuck in something. Um, clarity on this Eight of Swords. What is Scorpio feeling stuck in? Feeling stuck in. What are you feeling stuck in? Now, this is usually self-inflicted stuckness, if that makes any sense. Yeah, so there might be a decision here. You're getting more swords. You know, with the Two of Swords, sorry about the glare, the Two of Swords, oftentimes there's a decision to be made, but the moon symbolizes the intuition around the situation. But the inability to, to feel one's intuition, the struggle to feel one's intuition, because there's some conflict, some inner conflict here. Some more clarity, please, on the Eight of Swords in regards to what to do about this in this upcoming week. Oh, excuse me. And then more swords. So we're getting all the swords are right here. And um, we've got the Three of Swords. Now, sometimes Three of Swords is talking about a third, right? A third person or a third entity. But um, in this case, it feels kind of like a struggle with heartbreak, a struggle to accept a phase, even if it felt that when you stand back from the big picture, it might have been an inevitable change. And you're, don't be, if, if I may, don't be resistant to some of this heartbreak. The heartbreak is just part of the phase. And at the end of a phase, the death card symbolizes out with the old and in with the new. Know that new fresh things are gonna be coming. They're going to be arriving probably in the form of relationships and people. But how you can go about healing with these two star cards is going forward with whatever you're creating, whether that's you know a new project, a new idea, a new company, whether that's actually um, a new child that you're introducing into the picture, a new relationship that you're bringing in, that you're manifesting. A lot of healing can be done with, in the moment with what you're creating. This is very much live into the future, but don't ignore the past. Don't ignore that. Don't resist what is, because it's gonna be there whether you resist it or not, right? fully embrace it. And that's what Scorpios are so good at. They are incredibly gifted at recognizing the darker sides of life, embracing them and moving on. All right. 
at the bottom of the deck, we have King of Pentacles. You got this. You got this, Scorpio. Sending you so much love as a Pisces, another water creature. I feel you. And I'll see you next week.